Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is actually make it so when we collect a weapon there's like an item screen so we can turn the weapon on or off so um, basically a player equipment screen so we can collect armor and equip it to our character, equip weapons and equip it to our character and then when we've got that we'll be able to make the weapon disappear and appear and then we can work on the animations and everything. So first thing we've got to do is actually make the background for it. So if we just look at our current inventory, we will be using something that looks a lot like it, but it'll be different as well. So we'll be using something that looks like this, but it'll be a bit bigger, and it'll have a big box in the middle roughly where these buttons are for a picture of your player so you can drag things on. And then it'll have separate buttons, and they have, they have to be separate, um, for like your left sword, your right sword, your left hand ring, your right hand ring for like power rings one day, um, necklace or thing what goes around your neck, armor he head and stuff like that. So it'd be really cool. So first thing we're going to do is go to our uh, scripts and we'll go hide all those. We'll go to HUDs, we'll right click, create and JavaScript and I'll call this player equipment. So on this you'll be able to see what equipment you've got and everything. So we'll open that and then we'll also open up inventory GUI. So the first thing we need to do is actually make the background box. Simple enough. So we're going to go function on GUI and in here we'll simply type and um, we're going to make a group for it because it'll be easier. So we'll type GUI.begin group and then once you actually um, understand this GUI you'll just know the position of it off off by art really. So we begin group and we make a rect for it. That. And then we need a XY position, so we'll just say zero zero for default. And then for another one, <coughs> we need the size, so X size, well width and height. So we'll say the width is 500, and the height is 600. Yeah, that'll do. And then after this, we just put blank quotation marks because we don't need anything semicolon. Yep. And then we need to end the group before we carry on. So GUI dot end group. Bracket, bracket. So imagine it, we've got our group for now. Perfect. So next thing what we need to do is we'll create the basic box which will store the player, um, well the 3D character player in. We're not actually going to do it yet, we're just going to put a box there for now until we actually do that part. So yeah. So in here we'll just type GUI.box and rect and I'll set a uh, hundred across so it's a hundred on the x-axis, it's fifty down and we'll set it to 400 then 500 so it's slightly longer on the x-axis we'll even set it to 300 why not so that's the GUI box end it and that's one done so we, we'll not check it yet we'll just get other things working first so of course we need an exit button so we're going to type if GUI.button and you put in an if statement for clicking and we'll put bracket rect and for this one we want to, I want it in the bottom corner roughly down here so I'm going to say 500 across, but then I'll set it to 430, which I'll explain why in a minute. And then I'll set it to 570, I'll explain why in a minute. And I'll set the button to 70, then 30. So if on the x-axis, if you set it to 500, then it'll be out of the screen. But if you take away the button's width, it'll just be in the right location. And the same with for the 30 on the height. So if I add 30 to 570, it'll be 600, and it'll be down. So and um, comma, speech mark, and we'll say exit. So it'll quit that button off. So we'll just type in here, um, show GUI equals false. So of course we need to show GUI variable, so up here we'll type var show GUI boolean equals false. So default equals false, stick it above all this, so if show GUI equals true. Another way you can do it is you can just put brackets. So if show GUI, then it means by default if it equals true. But if you want to put equals false, you can put an exclamation mark after it. Um, so if not show GUI, so if it equals false. I personally prefer the double equals just because it looks a bit nicer. Whatever you like. So brackets, perfect. So we need a way to activate show GUI. So again, we're going to go up here. If show you well, Input dot get key down, and for this I'm going to use 
the letter O. I don't know why, I can't think of a word what it means the same, but I wanted to use equipment for E, but um, I can't, so yeah. So then in here we'll just type show GUI equals true, but we need to make sure it was false again. So if show GUI equals equals true, then we make it false. So we don't even need that to be honest. Show GUI equals false. Sorry about that, that's my dog. Else show GUI equals true. So if it equals true and you press I, then it'll make it false. But if it equals false, then you click it and make it true. So there's our basic thing. We've got an exit button. Let's make one for our left player's weapon. So up here, we'll just type uh, weapons and we'll put this to the beginning. I apologize for that. So in here, we'll make a new button. It has to be a single button. And the reason you can't have multiple buttons is because I want it, the buttons to be spread around the character. And there's no real way without stretching any buttons to put them on equal sides, so separate buttons it is. I will show you a technique in the future though, how you can create multiple buttons or dialog boxes with one for loop. And it works really well, but I'm not gonna do it for this because they're all different, kind of. So yeah, we need in here. Um, I don't want it to have any text, I want it to have an icon. So we'll just say in here, uh, icon, because I don't know what to do with it yet. So the position I want it is, I want it 20 outwards, so it's slightly in. And then down, we'll say roughly half of it, so 250. So it's roughly near the hands for weaponry. And then size, I'll say 64 by 64. If you don't know why I choose 64, if it's as it, like an uneven number tier, um, binary, which computers use, that's the computer's language, everything you do gets converted to binary for the computer. Binary is basically on or off, it's a boolean basically, one or zero, off, on or off. So 64 is binary, so you've got 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, so 2, 0, 1, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, then it goes up to 5, 12 and then stuff like that. So. Um, that's why it's separate. So we've got all that, but we don't want it to show GUI. Instead, we need to put weapon back. So it'll come down and it'll show the icon for the weapon we've got equipped. And if we click off it, then it'll, well, if we click on it, it'll put the weapon back. So we need, also need one for the left hand weapon. So the best way to do this would be to create a class which is identical to our inventory GUI, but a bit different. So when we click on it down here and we click equip, it transmits all that data to a class what's pretty much identical here and then can put it back really easy. So I'm going to copy all this here and we do need to get icon script. Copy all that and I'll paste it above here. We don't need function start. So instead of grid we're going to call it equipment and it should be there as well. So in your player equipment, what do, do you and don't you need? Well, I don't want how many you've got because you can only equip one at once, unless you've got two hands, but it's different. I don't want the buy price or sell price because you're not interested in any of that stuff. The only things I want are, um, is it a weapon or not? Description of it, an icon, and name. That simple. So we can get rid of all the rest we don't want. So player amount, blah, blah, blah. blah. So that's the only data we need at the moment. We're not going to call it get icons, we're going to call it get icon, and we're going to set it to just a normal array, just a normal icon like that, and we don't need none of this, or this. You'll see why soon, we don't need it, but, yeah, so, what we're going to do is basically set icon here, so whenever we call the variable here, which we will in a minute, so we'll just type here get, I apologise for not zooming in again, I keep forgetting to do that. So we're going to say get icon, just like that. But if we do that, how do we tell which button this needs to be? Well, we're going to come up here and create some parameters inside it. So inside the get icon brackets, we're going to create a parameter and we're just going to say id colon int. Simple as that. And we're going to come down and set the id to 8. I'll work this out last night and you'll see why it's 8 in a minute. So get icon 8. It'll come up here. Get this. It'll come down here. Get icon. So equipment icon here equals equipment bracket id the icon so it'll go in get number eight of this and carry on so it's a really easy way to organize so the reason it's number eight is because if you think about it at the very very top of the player inventory can i show you will this work i think this should work so if we go on i can actually show you 
because then it will make it easy to explain. So I'm just going to attach it to GUI scripts, it does not support slicing 924. So we come down 24 is here, icon equals equipment, ID, icon. So the reason we can't do this is because we're literally drawing a class, we can't do that. So we just down here, I'm just going to type var equipment details and this will be an equipment class like so. So we'll make this an array as well. So equipment details, that's where it'll get the ID, the icon. Just fix that a bit and then we can attach it, test it, see what it's like. So I'm going to attach it to this bit here, um, GUI scripts, because it just makes more sense to put there. I honestly don't know why I do that, put it in different ones, but you kind of need to. So no GU box for wrecked. So we'll go back to 46, we've got an error. We'll flee here. And because we didn't put anything after it, so bracket, there we go, comma, speech marks. If you, that's the best way to do it, unless you want to put an actual thing there, which we are eventually, just keep it blank. So, as I was saying, I put GUI scripts and MIS scripts, because then you're not putting everything in different places, they're all in one place, easy to find. So, player equipment, it loads, let's add just a quick details, I'm going to say up to 10, because we, that was 100. We have 8, but instead of making it a blank texture, I'm going to set it to our empty grid. Or blank grid. There we go. I really should rename that one day. But yeah, then we're going to set it to 10 just because we've said 8. And if we go on and click O, you can see we've got a basic thing. Surface is not very good at the moment, but we'll fix it soon. But basically, um, here is your left weapon. This side will be your right weapon. Or above it will be your ring. So if you start from the top, you have your head armor. That's one. You have your mask because I want a mask two you have your necklace thing three you have your body armor four and then arm armor five six gloves seven and then it comes down eight nine ten eleven blah blah that's them so you can get rid of that so that works but the gooey box hasn't got a background so we've got that's the reason it's number eight we're going to carry on the reason the box does um, begin group doesn't have a background is because we haven't got a skin on it but I don't want skin yet maybe in the future so we'll just put this down here and this will be our left weapon so it'll be number nine and then we need to bump it across on this axis so if you look at this box here it starts at 100 so 100 plus its width is 300 so 400 so anything after 400 it should be fine set it to 450 it should be in the right location if it should be the same as that put weapon back that's fine then we could do more after this so We'll test it if my theory is right. If it is, all we do is bump it down and test it. So press O, and as you can see, slightly off, which is not right good. So we'll take it back a little bit here. So we'll see 30, because 30 worked for the exit button quite well. So we click O, and as you can see, it's perfect location. Equip, 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 equip. Perfect, the player will be there, buttons all around you click what you want works fine so let's actually make it so it equips one we won't do them all for now because it, it's a quite a long procedure and this video is quite long as it is so we'll do a quick one and then it should work so we first need to link um, the inventory GUI to the player equipment so I find we've put all our scripts which it turns out we haven't so we we'll just make a new one uh, scripts and we we'll just put here var equipment and then we'll put player equipment. Like I said, we'll manually assign that, just make it faster. So we scroll down to where we equip it, roughly, where do we do it? Here. And just before we go clear grids here, we need it to add it to the inventory. Because if we clear it, then you're never going to be able to get the details because they've all been cleared and took out. So we'll do it above here. We'll just type uh, add to equipment. And we'll put brackets on. So we've got add to equipment, we're going to create a new function. We'll just do it above add to hang because that's where it's going to go. In fact, we'll do it below it. Why not? So we'll type function add to equipment bracket. Now, the thing is, when we're creating multiple separate buttons, we need a way to determine which button or which class icon is going to take which weaponry. So if you go back up to your hand, you are not going to have three hands. Unless you are for your character, then you can just add another button. But basically, we know that is number eight. 
for the left hand here and we know the right hand is number nine we know that so if we were to come down here and instead of putting this here we take it away but instead put it in separate hands here so above add to hand there and we also do one up here we can put an id into it to what it's supposed to go to so the left is to eight and the right is to nine of course we need to add parentheses for that or parameters i always forget and in here we just type id int again and then when we actually call it it'll equip the icon spawn them blah blah then it'll add the, that equipment to our icon if it if it can we'll have to check against that soon but um, i've already got that code so it's okay but it'll call it n number eight it adds all the details to grid eight which is that one it all works so we go back and down here we'll simply type um equipment so that's our script dot and then we need to get our actual equipment details and then we put bracket id so we'll get whatever equipment we've said so number eight it'll change number eight then we put dot then we edit what we need so name equals and now what do we call it we need to call it whatever we to whatever we're equipping to it so name is whatever weapon so we put grids grid value dot name there so the equipment details name equals the grid dot grid value name duplicate it what else do we have we have description i believe it's just desk yep equals grid value desk icon equals icon and finally is weapon is weapon equals is weapon so if it equals true it equals true so it should bounce all the details across really simple then once it's called that it should call add to hand so that's a basic 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 thing so we're going to assign the script to it so character and we'll drag gui scripts on to inventory gui we'll eventually clear this up and make it a lot neater so click equipment and we click play so we go up and collect a weapon so we run and we collect this weapon here not that one ah come on okay that one small glitch there so we collected the weapon we click it and we click equip left and then you should see click i not i o and it's equipped it right there so let's equip it to our right and see what happens click it and click right go back to our o and as you can see it's equipped it to both what we will have to do is when we click it it gets rid of it puts it back in the inventory and then it deletes the children really really simple to do Hope you liked this tutorial. Next tutorial we'll carry on with this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.